This is a video of an esophagoscopy with placement of a self-expanding stent. The gastroscope is inserted down into the esophagus to localize the tumor area. Here we see the upper part of the tumor. The scope is moved past the tumor area and down in the stomach, which is inspected for pathological findings. To ensure correct placement of the stent, the upper and lower parts of the tumor are marked with lead balls, which are visible on the fluoroscope. Scissors are placed on the patient's chest. When this area is x-rayed, the doctor can establish the correct placement of the ball. The scissors are here placed by the lower part of the tumor. A lead ball is attached to the same place with tape. The same method is used to find the upper part. Here, both lead balls are placed. The upper limit and lower limit. The stent can now be placed. A guide wire is first placed through a canal in the gastroscope. The scope is removed and the catheter with the self-expanding stent is moved down over the guide wire. The outline of the catheter is visible on fluoroscopy. The stent is aligned with the two lead balls. The stent is released and the catheter is removed. The doctor inserts the gastroscope again to check that the stent is placed correctly. Here we see the stent in place in the esophagus.